Hey guys, it's Jacob, and today I'm bringing you 25 facts, tips, and tricks in 5 minutes or less for the new Black Ops 4 map, X. Er, uh, 9. If you learned something new, leave a like, and make sure to watch the end of the video for the chance to get your comment featured in the next video. And before I start, a huge thanks to Brennan or Keish for helping me with a lot of this video. He helped me with the script, and he helped me with a lot of the facts, so if you want to find his Twitter, it'll be in the description, and uh, make sure to follow him. Alright, well let's stop dilly-dallying and get into the list. When you first spawn into the map, you can knife one of four banners in the spawn room that grants the player access to a set of nine challenges. These challenges can give you an array of useful guns and power-ups. For completing the first challenge, you can collect a heart at the challenge podium. This heart acts as another revive in solo and a self-reviving co-op. For completing three challenges, you will be gifted a free pack-a-punch strife pistol. After completing four challenges, you will be gifted a max ammo. You will also get a max ammo after completing eight challenges. After completing seven challenges, you will get a free perk that is not equipped in your class. After completing nine challenges, you will be gifted a pack-a-punch Hades. Every time you you pack a punch your weapon's damage will increase by 25 percent this can be done up to four times per weapon on nine there is no power making it the only map besides nocturne and toten did not have power you can get a free 100 points by going prone at a perk machine you can get 100 points by going prone at a perk machine each god representing the four perks in the map are all from a different area and their towers are themed accordingly danu is the irish goddess of fertility and wisdom ra is the egyptian god of the sun zeus is the greek god of the sky and odin is the norse god of war death and magic Player models in Voyage of Despair in 9 are different, giving the characters gear and face paint. If you play well in 9, you will gain a better crowd affinity. Crowd affinity is a reward system in which the crowd will throw power-ups in the map depending on how well you're playing. If you end up having less or bad crowd affinity, there is a chance the crowd will throw poop into the map, taking away your points. Once you have all four perks, the modifier on the final perk will activate, giving it an orange lining to show it's activated. The shield on 9 has two different weapons, a blade and a gun that you can access by aiming with the shield. You can build the shield by collecting three parts in three different locations. For the first part, check the three locations in the raw tower. After that, head to the Odin Tower and check these three different spots. Finally, head to the Zeus Tower right across the bridge and check these three locations for the final part. The buildable table is located at the bottom of the map, right across from the Pack-a-Punch room. Despite the four different locations of the gods, this map actually takes place in Greece. The fully upgraded Scepter of Rock can create a dome around you that improves regen speed and revives you or other players when downed in it. The Scepter of Ra will also revive players when you shoot the beam at the downed player. The fully upgraded Chakrams of Vengeance creates a shield around you, killing everything that comes in contact with it and giving an added bonus of making you move at a faster speed. The fully upgraded Viper and Dragon gives you more shots in the gun and increased sword damage. At level 2, the Hammer of Valhalla allows the player to smash the ground, killing or knocking back all the zombies in the near area. Stage 3 allows you to shoot lightning as well. You can build an acid trap on the map. All you have to do is complete three challenges and grab the cauldron in the center of the challenge podium. Then, grab these two gears in the pack-a-punch room. Once you have all the parts, head right outside of one of the towers and hold square on the lever on the wall to build the actual trap itself. While you can find it in the box if you're lucky enough, you can also easily build the wonder weapon on this map, the Death of Orion. All you have to do is head to the barricade between the Danu and Ra towers below the map and shoot the flaming cauldron in the back. Once it has been knocked over, head to the bridge right on top and look outside where the flaming arrow is pointing. The arrow points to where the item you need to find is. If the arrow is pointing at the Ra tower like it was in my game, then the item will be right here. If the arrow points to the Danu Tower, then the item will be right here. If the arrow points to the Zeus Tower, then the item will be right here. And if the arrow points to the Odin Tower, the item will be right here. Once you have the rock, you need to hold square on the grate where you built the acid trap and use the acid trap. Once the trap is done going through, the rock will have melted into a spout. Pick that up. Now all you need to do is wait for the crowd to throw a gold cup. To do this, you just need to have max crowd affinity and wait until the priest says a gift from circuit. Once he has said that, look around and once you've picked it up, head to the bottom floor of the Danu Tower. On this tree right here, you will find a little hole. Knife that hole with the spout and then it will be placed. Once you've done that, go prone right under the spout and hold square. This will place the cup. You will have to wait for the cup to fill up, but once it is filled, you will be able to pick it up. Once you have picked it up, head to the box and hold square on the left corner of the box. This will poison it. Once you have done that, hit the box and you will be guaranteed to get the Death of Orion. There's no elemental upgrades for the Death of Orion on this map, so all you have to do is pack a bunch of it and then boom, it's fully upgraded. 
And finally, unlike Hellhounds, you can actually use Brain Rot on the Tigers. Doing this is actually very useful because the Tigers have the ability of one-shotting the mini-bosses that randomly spawn. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like to see more videos like this one. Subscribe and also comment on what you think about the cast storyline so far. Do you like it? Is it at least better than the World War II story? Tell me in the comments to be featured in the next video. Alright, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!